team, Angie Carter here with Origami Owl Designer 2634 doing a Team Tuesday training on customer follow-up. So, okay, so how many times have you gone to an event, collected information, or gone to a jewelry bar, got everybody's information, and never contacted anyone once? I've done it. I've done it. It's stupid. It's a waste of your time. Key to business is following up with the customers, whether they purchase from you or you met them somewhere. Um, it's so important to always follow up with these people because they want to buy, they want to spend their money, and you want them to do that with you. Okay, so the thing about follow-up is make a plan. When you meet a customer at a jewelry bar, you need to make a plan for that um, follow-up system and be consistent with what you're doing. So it's January, it's a great time to put a new plan into place. So day one, the customer makes a purchase, whether online, um, even make and take at an event or at a jewelry bar, they make a purchase. So one week from that purchase, send them a postcard. You can get postcards ch printed cheap at Vistaprint or um, a handwritten card, whatever the case may be. Um, send them a thank you card. Hey, you've had your Origami Owl Joy for a week. I just wanted to thank you so much for your purchase um, and let you know you're a valued customer and I appreciate you. Don't ask them to host, don't ask them to make another purchase, just thank them for what they've already done. If they didn't make a purchase and you just met them, um, send them a, if you have their address, send them a postcard. It was great to meet you. I look forward to um, talking to you later or you know something like that. Don't solicit a purchase, just thank them. So um, then one month out from their purchase, send them another postcard. Um, hey, you've had time to wear your origami owl around town. How are you loving it? Have you gotten compliments? Tell me about your experience with your jewelry. Uh, so just make sure they're satisfied and this would also be a great time to let them know of our warranty um, on the jewelry. So then at uh, two months, send them the warranty information um, and just say, you know, how, how, are, how are you doing with your jewelry? Is everyone complimenting you? And hopefully they're gonna say, oh my gosh, everybody's loving it, I wanna have my own party. So that's um, the two month follow up. Um, on my plan three months is send information about our Origami Out business opportunity. Hey, you've gotten so many compliments on your, your jewelry. Um, everyone's loving it. It's so amazing to be a part of this um, force for good company. Are you interested? And here's our business opportunity. Um, so additional ways to utilize follow-up during those three months is send them a, a Tom, um, let them know if we have any retiring items, ask them to um, utilize the wish list on our website. Let's see what else is, let them know, oh, you bought the sentiment locket, here's the moodology sense or, um, you know, oh, you, that large lock, it's beautiful. Have you seen our plates or the dangles? Things like that. So um, those are also ways to follow up with them outside of the postcard system, whether that's on Facebook, in your VIP group, personal message, personal text, things like that. So that's in between the postcard plan. Okay, so basically you're trying to funnel these sales through this, this um, follow-up. Another key thing to do when you're following up with customers is keep a log. Um, who did you send the toms to? Follow up with those people. Did you get the tom? How, did you, what did you see that you loved? Do you have a wish list? Um, things like that. Did you send anyone a free charm or any freebies? Follow up with those, those people because if you're sending them something free, you want to, to reap some benefits from that. So follow up, hey, I sent you a free holiday charm because you're a valued uh, hostess of mine and I just wanna make sure you got it and you're loving it, you know, things like that. So also keeping a log of customers and what they purchased and at whose party, um, what they bought, when they bought. And also on, on that log, let keep for yourself, is this person on Facebook? Is this person in my VIP group? And if they aren't, you need to contact them to get them in your VIP group. Um, 
Don't forget to follow up with your hostesses. Hey, you had an amazing party last quarter. This is the new stuff coming out. When would you like to have your, your joy bar with the new stuff? So follow up your hostesses. Don't forget um, that they're customers as well. Um, what I also do quarterly is contact my customers and just with an email or a text, depending on, on what they prefer. Hey, I'm updating my customer database. I wanna make sure that this is still a good contact information for you. And hey, have you seen our new Tom? So contact them under the umbrella of you're updating your customer database to keep them informed. Um, again, another good time if they're not part of your VIP group to send them the link. Um, the other thing with, with with keeping in contact with customers and hostesses, it doesn't always have to be about business. Um, I know the word stock is, is kind of a negative word, but you know sometimes I'll create a list of customers I would like to target to become my next hostesses, um, and I'll kind of stock their Facebook page for information. Did they just have a baby? Are they celebrating weight loss? Do they have any grandchildren that just had some, children or grandchildren that just had some accomplishments? You know, did their spouse get a new job? Things like that. And send them a personal card. Hey, I saw your husband got a promotion. Way to go. How exciting. Don't make it about business. Just make it about a woohoo. Everybody loves to get things in the mail. And um, especially if they feel like you're just celebrating something for them. Along those same lines is be sure to, um, so not only celebrate life events, but birthday cards, holiday cards, things like that. Um, what I like to do when I'm trying to do this year is when a customer purchases from me, whether at a party or a one-off on the website or make and take is gather as much information as I can, make a customer card for their log, um, including their name, their email address, their physical address, their, and their phone number. If they're part of my VIP group and their preferred contact. Some people hate emails but love text or love text and hate emails, things like that. And also at that time, and this is so such a gem of a piece of advice that I received, is at that time, write out their birthday card and write out their Christmas card and put it in the file. That way at Christmas, you can just zing them all out. You've already have them written and addressed and it, it is amazing. So write it out right then and there when you do their customer log card. Um, for a customer log card, what I do is it's just an index card with that information, and then I file it by um, month of purchase. I write on there also if they were at a party and who the hostess was. That way I can look back and say, okay, three months ago they bought this, let me contact them. Hey Sally, three months ago you got this, I was just checking on you, seeing how you love it, things like that. So it's all with that follow-up postcard system, um, but I found that I was tracking customers by their hostess, but now I find it's easier to track customers by the month that they purchased. So that's a little tidbit. Um, yeah, I think that's it for customer follow-up. The other thing um, someone suggested is um, there on Google you can see crazy holidays, like every single day there's like 15 made up holidays. You know, post, post that on your Facebook group, communicate if you know. Sally loves dogs and today's National Dog Day, send her a little postcard or send her a, a little card. Hey, it's National Dog Day. Don't forget to kiss your fur baby for me. Or put it on you know, Facebook, something like that. Not businessy, but just let them know that you, know, you care about them and what they like and their interests and you're their friend. So that's it, guys. Customer follow-up is so important and I hope that um, helped you in your business. Um, so team, get out there and follow up with your customers. It's never too late to start a new system. If you're watching this and you aren't part of my Origami Owl group, but this is something that sounds interesting to you, please contact me. You can email me at jajmcarter at gmail.com. You can also find me on Facebook using that email or give me a call, 813-210-1588, and I would love to tell you all about this opportunity. Today I'm wearing our sentiment chain. I have it doubled, um, so it's a little bit shorter. And um, our medium sentiment locket with some moodology um, to pep me up today. So, all right guys, have a great week and get out there and follow up with those customers and hostesses.